The decision that we made was to take uh, one point of the PST to increase it in order to fund things like flood protection infrastructure. You remember at the time we had just gotten a report that showed we needed to spend in excess of a billion dollars on uh, flood protection. We knew that there was going to be opportunity to match uh, federal funds in the Building Canada Fund, and we knew that there was a need to invest in infrastructure. And we wanted to do that without compromising the services that are important to Manitobans. So that's why we we took the decision. The decision we made was to raise the PST by one point, and that's the only decision we made. What the government has is a real problem with its integrity. I mean, they claimed before the last election that it wasn't looking at raising the PST, and we now know that it was. Uh, it claimed during the election uh, the NDP would not raise the PST. We now know that they did, and now we have information coming forward that says they were looking at the uh, projections on a higher PST hike of 9%. They, some of them say they weren't, but the facts speak otherwise. So it's a, what the government has got itself into is a problem of uh, integrity. Uh, it's an issue of whether you can believe anything they say now. Uh, we know we've got a high, a high spending government here, uh, which means that Manitobans have a high tax problem. And, uh, the government wants to sell Manitobans on the need for higher taxes, they should be consistent and forthright and honest in doing that. Because tax spend and lie, that's not a very good combination for getting Manitobans to believe that you're sincere about what your agenda is for the future of our province.